Welcome to Frank's Favorite Foods, where I'm always cooking up a good time. This is the channel where I teach you how to make restaurant quality food at home. This week I'm going big because there's something to celebrate. How about half pound colossal lump crab cakes? Thank you guys so much for helping me reach my first major milestone 1,000 subscribers. Now is the perfect time to subscribe. Hit the little notifications bell, that way you'll be notified every time I put out an episode. If you're making colossal crab cakes, you need colossal crab meat. These are enormous pieces of back fin lump crab meat from enormous blue crabs. My gosh, just look at that crab meat. Each of those lumps is bigger than my thumb. And if you're wondering if this isn't just the same crab cake recipe you've seen on my channel before, it's not. Binding golf ball sized lumps of blue crab meat together to make them look and taste fantastic is no easy task. Believe me, this is my second try. Begin making the crab mix by putting a cup of mayo in a large bowl. Add one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. Put in two teaspoons of Worcestershire. Now add two tablespoons of Old Bay. If you're paying close attention, you may have noticed that I used a bit more Old Bay and a little less mayonnaise than the original recipe. With a little less mayonnaise, the egg I'm adding now will have a little more binding power. A bit of extra Old Bay adds some more flavor to those colossal lumps of crab meat. I've also added one tablespoon of yellow mustard. Mix thoroughly and refrigerate until ready to use. Next, using my global knife, which by the way, just happens to cut like a dream, to chop up this fresh parsley. And by the way, this is my imitation of Chef John from foodwishes.com. Let's make that big crab cake. Once you've opened your crab meat, you'll need to drain that water out. Give it a gentle squeeze to make sure you've gotten rid of all the liquid. Do not omit this step. If you leave all that liquid in there, it's going to be really difficult to keep your crab cake together. Add a tablespoon and a half of the chopped parsley to the crab meat. Next, I'm adding one third cup of panko breadcrumbs. Somewhere, someone is rolling their eyes at the thought of me adding filler to a pristine crab cake. Well, guess what? I'm not adding filler. It would be extremely difficult, if not impossible, to bind this crab cake without any breadcrumbs. It's extremely important that you add the crab mix a little at a time. The amount of crab mix needed will vary depending upon the amount of moisture in the crab meat. Again, add the crab mix a little at a time. You can always add more. Be gentle with the crab meat. Spoons are for stirring not mixing crab meat, use your hands. Do your best not to break up the colossal lumps. Gently mold the crab cake with your hands. I'm going for something about the size of a softball. Spray some non-stick on a sheet pan and lay out your crab cakes. Even after I made these two giants, I saved a few of the enormous lumps to put on the top. Because I'm looking for lots of richness and flavor, I'm gonna drizzle melted butter over both of these monsters. A little sprinkle of paprika, and then into a 400 degree oven for 15 minutes. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. There are no words I can say. Please try not to lick your screen. I shared these with my wife and my daughter, and the general consensus was these were the best crab cakes we had ever had. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my videos. 1,200 subscribers and growing. I certainly couldn't have done it without you all, so thank you once again. Subscribe now if you haven't already done so. If you really like this episode, please share it with a friend. That helps to grow my channel. I'll see you in the next video.